Hey, so in this video I'm going to be taking a look at a game called Victory at Sea. This is a naval World War II RTS simulation game, so let's go ahead and get started. There's three different game modes, campaign, historical scenarios, and custom battles. I'm going to choose campaign, Pacific, three different campaigns. I heard each one is pretty long, and let's go ahead and choose a nation. I'm going to choose the U.S. Navy. The Imperial Japanese Navy would be pretty cool to choose as well, but I'm going to choose the U.S. And let's get started. Uh, choose captain. There we go. Congra ah. Congratulations, Commander Des. I'm promoting you to the rank of captain. Your first command is the destroyer USS Brain. Get out there and take the fight to the enemy. All right, so this is kind of like the overview mode. Um, here's my ship, the uh, Pearl Harbor. And here is the world map. I believe the goal of the game is to conquer all of these areas, which would probably take a lot of time, but I think you can capture certain ports and uh, get more ships added to your uh, command or to your uh, navy fleet. So let's go ahead and go over here. There's a ship over here, so all we have to do is travel down this way. I can go ahead and speed up the time. Once we get into the little field, like the red zone, um, we enter a battle, and once the battle begins, Let's just skip that tutorial. It's a different little view. It looks way nicer than the overview world. So here's the ship I need to destroy. He's already kind of hurt. So all I need to do is get into range. I have torpedoes and uh, a little cannon. So let's go ahead and shoot it with my little cannon. And I just shot a volley out and let's see if it hits. And miss. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my ship sideways so I can send out a bunch of torpedoes. Uh, you go a little bit further this way, and I'm just going to fire all my tor torpedoes in that direction. Hopefully one of them will hit, and let's go ahead and keep firing our torpedoes. I like changing the camera view to this direction. It makes it a little bit easier to uh, uh, see the ship that you're shooting at. Okay, so the torpedoes are coming in. He's trying to dodge. He's trying to get out of the way. He might actually uh, be successful in dodging. Nope, there's no way he's going to go get out of that, and dead. Sweet. So, that's our first victory. At the end, you earn some money and some experience. I'm not really sure what the experience and money is for quite yet, um, but I'm sure it's useful later on. Let's see, look at the menu. Um, let's see, fleet information. You could probably use the money to buy more ships later on once you get to a dock. Okay, good work, Captain. Now let's, let's mop up the others. All right. So it looks like the others are down here. It looks like there's some planes flying by. That's kind of cool. One thing I don't like about the game is in this viewpoint, I can't move the camera. I'm like locked onto my uh, uh, ship right here, which kind of sucks because I would like to rotate the camera or at least turn it so I can see where I'm going. Uh, but it's not too bad. All right, so health is at 51%. We should be able to destroy them pretty quickly. Oops, I accidentally... Uh, Close the game for a second. Make sure it's still active. Okay, good. Attack. Okay, again, I like just rotating the camera this way, just so I can get a lead on the target. I'm gonna have to lead your shots because uh, in like naval warfare, both ships are moving. I can also adjust the speed of my ship if I wanted to go fast or slow down. He just fired a bunch of torpedoes at me. Um, oh shit. I'm not gonna be able to dodge them. Let's go ahead and see if I can't go in between them. This is gonna be close. Oh, it's gonna be super close. Yes! Successfully dodged the torpedoes. Let's fire some torpedoes back. Let's turn my ship and fire in that direction. I don't think I aimed far enough. Um, I didn't leave my shots far enough, so that's not gonna hit. Uh, but we can take them out with just normal cannons. Go ahead and speed up the time. Take some time for your uh, shots to reload. Oops. Okay, here we go. Ship crippled, weapon destroyed. And he's dead. Victory! And I think I earned a level, level one. Sink the three enemy fleets off the Hawaiian Islands, Natishu, Yatake, and 1182. 
I guess the uh, ships over here. We're still sort of in like the tutorial phase, so that's why these ships are pretty weak and easy to defeat. Later on, you get more weapons and different types of ships, um, and things get a whole lot more strategic. Let's go ahead and take out these remaining ships. Okay, attack. Ah, oh, I like how the uh, like the day-night cycle changes a little bit. Looks like I'm fighting two ships here, which is not good for me. But hopefully, I can take out one with some torpedoes if I get lucky. I'm gonna fire my torpedoes about right, maybe here. It doesn't seem like he even knows I'm here. Oh, that's a oil tanker. That's why. That oil tanker should be able to go down pretty easily. I mean, I haven't heard of many, like, defensive oil tankers. Hopefully one of these torpedoes hits. I think this one's going to hit. Sweet. So it seems like if a torpedo hits, it, like, automatically does a ton of damage. Is this a submarine? Oh, no. There are submarines in the game as well. Fire on that guy. Well, oh, these torpedoes might actually go all the way. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Sweet. This torpedo may hit. Oh no, I guess it uh, only has a certain range. Let's go ahead and speed up. Speed up the time. Let's just take out this guy. Okay, one more hit. Should be down. This game reminds me of, like, that classic, uh, battleship game. He sunk my battleship. Message from Ad Morality. On behalf of the United States Navy Captain, I am honored to award you with a Navy Expedi Expeditionary Medal. Okay, cool. Okay, one more to go. There's also another way you can play this game. There's another camera angle. I'll show you that in a second. Let's go ahead and attack. This is a big ship. Attack! Destroy the enemy cargo ships and their escorts. Alright, so here's like the overview mode. You can actually change where your ships begin. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Click and drag your vessel to reposition them. Is this my vessel? No, my vessel is the... Where is mine? Is it down here? Here it is. Alright. I think this is it. So I can move it wherever I want on this grid to start the battle. The enemy is over there, so I'm just going to start right here. This kind of looks like a uh, like the traditional classic battlefield uh, like grid. Like, I'll fire at D1. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So here is another kind of viewpoint. Um, I can actually play like this if I wanted to, so if I unpause the game, it'll actually play out, and I can uh, use this grid to help me target enemies, or I can um, just use it to uh, kind of see an overview of what's going on. But personally, I don't really like um, using this mode. I think it's better just to zoom in. And later on in the game, you are able to command multiple ships, so you can switch between ships, but right now I think we're still in the tutorial phase. Okay, so let's go over here and destroy these guys. I'm going to go ahead and speed it up big time. And I can also use this little wheel here. This will allow me to change the direction my uh, boat is moving in. So as you can see, it changes wherever I point. That's kind of cool. You can also just point or click wherever you want to uh, move. Alright, so there's a bunch of ships over here. It looks like they have heavy cannons. I need to be careful. I might slow it down a little bit here just because uh, I don't think I can take on three ships at once. I'm going to try to pitch them off guard and shoot a bunch of torpedoes. Yeah, they're already firing at me. Looks like they have more range than I do as well. So there are two oil tankers and a heavy cruiser. 
Let's go ahead and fire on that guy. And I hit him, sweet. And let's go ahead and fire some torpedoes in the fire ahead, maybe right here. <laughs> it looks like my machine guns are fighting the uh, aircraft. It's kind of cool. So as like a simulation game, ooh, crew killed. Wow. Okay, so that that <laughs> uh, that ship got destroyed fast. I don't know if I hit it with a torpedo or just with a cannon. Uh oh. Now I'm taking damage. I need to retreat. I'm not sure how to heal. Or if I should just retreat. Manual control. I guess I could turn off manual control and then the allies would just take over. Um, so cargo ships sunk, 1 out of 2. Cargo ships escaped, 0 out of 2. Let's go ahead and make a smoke screen and order ship to retreat. Probably shouldn't have gone in so quickly. I wonder if this ship is actually coming for me. Yeah, I think my ship might die. Retreat! Oh no! Torpedoes are coming in! Oh shit, oh shit, that torpedo's gonna hit me. I need to adjust just slightly. Oh no, no, it's gonna hit! Oh, I'm dead. Dud? A dud? <laughs> that torpedo was a dud? Okay. I guess we'll just speed up. I can't take control of other ships, I don't think. But I think my allies should be fine, if I'm not mistaken. Defeat. Crap. Serving aboard the brain killed in action. Huh. So I guess I lost that mission. Let's replay that mission and uh, see if we can't do a little bit better. Brain destroyer. Alright, so this time, instead of going off on my own, I think I'm gonna go with my team. So, which ship is mine again? I never tell. Oh, it's this one. Okay. So I'm gonna come in maybe a little bit later. Actually, I'll just go in right here. And let's go ahead and form a circle formation, multiple vessels. Form a column, form a loose. Alright, let's go ahead and... Activate the game. There we go. So this time I'm gonna be a little bit more careful and try to stay back a little bit further. And I did take out one ship, but there's a lot of ships over there, and I think one cannon shot just took me out, which kind of sucks to be honest. I do get reinforcements in 10 seconds. They are already shooting my ally over there. Okay, I'm gonna try to just go straight ahead and then shoot a bunch of submarine, or I mean a bunch of uh, torpedoes underwater and go like aim it directly at them. Maybe that will cause them to go off course. They have a lot of ships though. I'm gonna slow down the time a little bit. And their range is ridiculous. Okay, once I get directly in front of this guy... Let's slow down. Okay, I'm gonna aim my torpedoes maybe right about... here. any luck, that should hit. Should get a kill. Bam. Sweet. Okay, torpedoes inbound. Let's speed it up. Torpedo should hit. Come on. D 
did he seriously just dodge them? No way, okay. <laughs> he almost dodged them, that would've been insane. Okay, so one cargo ship sunk out of two. Let's go ahead and keep going around the side. Oh wow. That ship has such a long range, it's ridiculous. That torpedo, oh. I was thinking that torpedo may, may have hit there. Okay, speed it up again. And we're gonna slow it down. I think we are in range. Oh, I missed. As long as I keep dodging the, that far cannon, should be fine. Not sure what my allies are doing. I might need to just need to retreat and wait for my allies. Yeah, I'm getting hit. Oh shit. Or maybe, uh, reload the, uh, torpedoes. Man, he can just keep shooting volleys, one after another. It's ridiculous. I'm trying to circle my way back and finish this guy off. Should be almost dead, and my torpedoes have almost reloaded. I'm trying to change direction every time he fires. Oh dang, I'm getting hit, I'm getting hit. Oh shit, okay, it's time to get out of here. I'm gonna fire my torpedoes first. Oh, I hope I don't hope I don't die. I'm getting torn up out here. No! Oh, so close. Yeah, I'm just gonna fire torpedoes in a random direction. That's uh, right about I guess here. And then I'm gonna retreat. I'm gonna let my ally go in first, and hopefully he can take some of the damage before I die. I feel like any hit can just completely disable me. How is he aiming so far away? Oh, that was close. That was so close. So the torpedoes are inbound. They're gonna hit. I'm pretty sure they're gonna hit. I guess we can go look. Yep, sweet. Alright, so the cargo ships are destroyed. Victory! Okay, so I didn't even have to uh, kill the enemies there, I just had to destroy the cargo ships. Interesting. And I got a lot of money. Total war bonds earned 3 million. I am rich. Gonna retire a rich man. <laughs> Salvage price recovered from the enemy wreck. Return to HQ for your reward. Where is HQ at? I guess we can look at the map. Not sure how to get to HQ. Should I just retreat? I wonder if I go back to port, if I can purchase more ships or not. Um, so there should be an allied port in this direction, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so here's an allied port. I'm just going to go over here and see if I can't restock on my supplies. This video is already getting really long though. I apologize. Let's see. Enter port, yes. Okay, here we go. Visit HQ. These spare parts you salvage will be put to good use, Captain. Good work out there. Received 500,000 more bounds. Okay, I got $500,000. Uh, let's go to the shipyard. Okay, so I can purchase better ships or I think I can get weapons, right? Torpedo boat for 2 million. I have 3.5 3 million. So I guess all you can do is buy ships. Uh, so let's go ahead and buy a torpedo boat. Continue. Sweet. And I don't have enough money for anything else, so let's go back. Menu. Good information, Captain Information, Missions. No current mission, okay. You do your country good service. Okay. So, yeah. 
So the ports allow you to buy new ships with the war bonds you get from completing uh, battles. So we're going to go over here and destroy this ship. I should have two ships now. Yeah, it does say I have two. So now I have a torpedo boat, which should be very, very useful. Is that a submarine? Yeah, I think this one's a submarine. So another weapon I have on my ship is a um, is depth charges. So I can actually place depth charges in the water, and I believe with the depth charges I can uh, do I can hit submarines. So can I control this torpedo boat? I should be able to, right? Maybe not. I don't know. Oh wait, there we go. I should be able to. I don't know, I know in other scenarios you can command multiple ships, but I guess this is just an AI controlled ship. It's not really doing anything, it just shot torpedoes in a random direction, I'm not sure why. Um, hmm. Oh wait, yeah, I can just, okay. <laughs> I was just selecting the wrong ship. I guess I accidentally fired the torpedoes. So this ship only has one attack, which is torpedoes, so I just wasted that. Uh, oh well, I'll do it in another mission. Oh man, duds. Okay, I guess some torpedoes can be duds, just randomly. Kind of interesting. Okay, so there is a submarine. I guess I have to fire torpedoes at a submarine. I think that's the only way to kill them. I can spot them again. Where'd he go? He should be in this direction somewhere. I guess we'll just fire. Did he go underwater? Oh, there he is. Oh, and I missed. Crap. Let's slow down the time. Let's see if I can't hit him with my cannons. I don't think I can. Yeah, that didn't do anything. So let's try to hit him with my depth charges. Just fire him in this direction. There's depth charges. And we destroyed it. Sweet. That was easy. Victory. I believe I'll have enough money to get... Oh, your captain's level up too. That's cool. I have enough money to get another torpedo ship if I wanted to. Mission complete received 5 million in war bonds. So I guess it's... Uh, okay, you're on your own now, Captain. Good luck. Return to the nearest friendly port. So this is pretty much how the game goes on. You just go out, do some battles, get some money, go back to port, um, and purchase more ships, raise an army, and then eventually you'll take over the entire coastline of uh, Japan and the islands around it. So, kind of a cool game. I'm enjoying it so far. This is just the beginning. Uh, I know I haven't been showing off all the features, so uh, it could be a little different later on. Uh, how much money do I have? Seven million. So I can buy any of these ships. Oops. I wish it would tell you what each ship did. Oh yeah, it does. It's, it tells you up here. Torpedoes 5x, anti-submarine 6x. Alright, two anti-air. Crew 329, speed 37 knots. So each one is kind of has different stats. Flower class Corvette. This one has a uh, secondary turret. One anti-air torpedoes none. Anti-air submarine. Anti-submarine three depth charges. 4x hedgehog. Yeah, we're just gonna purchase one more. And continue and back and report. So I should have three ships now. I street I do. We need to take out the Japanese supply convoys and capture the islands in order to begin our push to the west. Okay, understood, Captain. I suggest you head down to Waji, Kwajalein, and Mili, and Jalut Atolas. Okay, so some islands. I believe he's telling me to go down here, yes. These are the islands. So, in this direction, I shall go. When I first played this, I, I just yeah, went in a random ready. direction, and I caught I got caught off, caught off guard by a bunch of ships that were a lot stronger than me. A date which will live in infamy. 
In the background, you can hear the, uh... United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. The little radio broadcast of, uh... I forgot who was the president at the time, but the guy who, uh... announced that Pearl Harbor was attacked. Okay, so let's go this way. I think I'm going to do one more battle, and then I'll end this video here. I just want to try out my new ship real quick. There should be some enemies somewhere over here. There is a port. I wonder if I can attack the port. Attack port, yes. Uh, we'll use all our ships. Bunkers are fortified positions from which ports defenders may fire upon. Approaching landing craft and aircraft, destroying them will allow a safer approach. Okay. I'm not sure how to capture a port. I've never done this type of mission before, but we're going to try it. Troop transports landed. Hmm. I might need a different type of boat to capture islands. I'm not entirely sure yet. But let's go ahead and just charge in ahead, I guess. There's at least two ships. I think there might be three coming at me right now. Holy crap, I have a huge army. Holy shit. I did not know I had this many. Oh, these are landing craft. Allied landing craft. So these boats need to get to shore. Oh, where's my main boat? Oh, yeah, there it is. How am I supposed to fire my missiles whenever there's so many ships all over the place? Alright. This is the Highlander. Let's see, it only has one to hurt? I thought it had more. Oh wait, this is the torpedo boat, never mind. Let's fire our torpedoes. I'm just gonna fire them in that direction. And then we'll retreat with that. We'll switch to the Highlander. Yeah, he has way more. Yeah, it's basically the same ship as the Brain. Retreat, retreat. Oh, he's gonna die. That's okay. Switch to the brain. Fire some more torpedoes in their direction. Alright, now we have a huge volley of torpedoes going out. They shouldn't be able to dodge all of that. Torpedoes inbound. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I'm gonna get hit, I'm gonna get hit. No! Oh, destroyed. I only have one ship left. And all my torpedoes missed? Are you kidding me? Maybe one will hit over here. Oh, I think they all missed. Dang it. Yeah, this is a lost cause. We lost all of our ships and. Yeah, I only have one left, so might as well just quit back to the main menu. This video is getting kind of long, so I'm going to end it here. Uh, just a quick look at Victory at Sea. Kind of an interesting game. Um, it's a really good simulation game. There's not a whole lot of naval conflict games out there on Steam, and this one seems to do it pretty well. It's very uh, simulator-y, but it's kind of fun. Um, let's go ahead and sh I just want to show you real quick the historical battles. So the historical battles are just like preset scenarios. And you can pick whichever side you want and then set the ship AI levels. And then you can just go ahead and read some of the, uh, some of the historical text and start the missions. And you have different types of ships. And this ship is kind of cool. It has, uh, different types of weapons. There's four different weapons on here. Bow guns. Port, port secondary guns, and it also has planes that can fly out and spot enemy uh, enemy ships. You might be able to like jam radar. I'm not really sure on that either, but uh, yeah, <laughs> kind of just rambling on. Um, cool game. If you want to check it out yourself, be sure to check it out on Steam. I'll leave a link in the description below uh, to the store page of Victory at Sea. And hopefully you enjoyed this video and have a nice day.